This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. What if you spray the mattress and then put the encasement on? I don't recommend to do that. Um, all right, so if, let's see. Well, if you, what are you trying to kill? Are you trying to kill bed bugs? All right, I got an idea. I haven't done this in a while. I try to do one of these every stream, but I don't think I did one last week. So, let's do a drawing with Jason. You've got a bed. Is that a beautiful picture, Emma? Does that look like a picture? All right, all right. So there's your bed. These are the pillows, by the way. It's a beautiful bed. All right. Let's do this. Let's just let's say. All right. There's a bed. This is this is it. This is the comforter, and this is the sheet right here, and these are the pillows. Okay. You treat the bed. All right. The bed has been treated. Okay. Then. You're, you got bed bugs over here. Let's say this is a bed bug. And then this is a bed bug over here. All right, these bed bugs are not living on the bed. They are, let's say they're living in the wall. All right, and this is their little outlet cover right here that they're going to come out around. Okay, so they're going to come out like this. All right, they are going to come to this bed. They're going to crawl, but, but wait, you treated the bed, right? But we're going to cover the bed with a force field or a mattress encasement, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it a force field. Let's call it a Walmart force field. Okay, we're, we're covering this bed with a Walmart force field. All right, now these bed bugs can crawl up over this bed, never touching the chemical, bite you, and get away. If you put a mattress encasement on your bed after you treat it with crossfire or any pesticide for that matter, the bed bugs will not die. Now, the bed bugs that are trapped inside, like these little bed bugs here, like this, let's see this one here. All right, and then there's one here. They don't really have anywhere to go but on the mattress encasement. More than likely, they will die. But all the bed bugs do not live in the bed. A lot of bed bugs will actually live outside the bed. They will live down on like the bed legs. Let's see, see these legs? This is a weird looking bed, but there's bed legs. Um, they might even be living on like a chest of drawers or a dresser beside the bed, or let's say a little nightstand right there. Now this nightstand's on the other side of the bed because these people sleep with their feet on the pillows. But, um, that's what I'm going to say anyway. That's what I'm, I'm sticking to that. But, uh, but anyway, the point is, is that you've got a little dresser here that they can live in. You've got a wall outlet over here they can live in. Let's say you've got a closet over here with some hang-up clothes or something that they can live in. So they can live in there. That's a really thin closet. It's a walk-in closet for stick people because this is obviously a stick people bed. But um, the point is, is that the bed bugs don't just live on the bed. They live other places too. And if you cover your bed in a little plastic Walmart force field, the bed bugs cannot get to the mattress, which is treated. Okay, you, you presume that it's treated. So that's, that's the issue. That is why I don't support mattress encasements, if you understand what I'm saying. That's why. And I'll admit, I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of exterminators that give really bad advice. Really, really bad advice. 
And when they go and they tell you, we're going to spray your bed, and then we're going to cover it with a mattress encasement, and that's what they want you to do, that's really bad advice. That's really, that's, that's defeating the whole purpose. Why spray the bed at all? There's no sense in spraying the bed at all. Why waste the pesticide if you're just going to cover it up? Don't spray the bed at all. Spray the bed, spray the, spray the box spring, spray the, uh, the uh, bed legs, spray the, 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 the bed rails, the headboard, the footboard. You know, spray all those things, you know, um, and just don't spray the mattress. If you're going to cover it with a mattress encasement, don't spray it. A lot of bed bugs in, uh, exterminators in Virginia, they, the reason that they require their customers to buy mattress encasements is because they don't spray the mattress. And if they're not going to spray the mattress, they feel like, well, if there's bed bugs living on the mattress, you get to at least cover it up so they can't bite you. But I'll tell you, bed bugs can bite you through your mattress encasement. A lot of people don't know that, but they can. They have piercing parts, so they can pierce through the bot. The the when you lay down on. So let, let let's do another one. This is easier for me. All right, let's clear this. Let's go. Um, how do I do this, Emma? File, new. There we go. Don't save. All right. So when you lay on a bed, let's say this is this is your mattress encasement. All right, made out of nylon. It's a nylon mattress encasement. It's nice and pretty now. And so let's see. Let's let's do a circle. So I, I'm going to show you what what this does. All right. This is like one of those fancy commercials where they're like, this is what the fabric's really made of. All right, so all fabric is made. Oh, man, my thing messed up. Undo. Let's do let's do a big one again. All right, so the fabric is made like this. you got threads like this, and you have threads like this. All right, now, when you're not laying on the fabric, they're really tight together, like like really tight. All right, bed bug can't bite through it, super tight. But when you lay on it, it looks like this. So it opens up. What happens is the fabric actually opens up and allows for the bed bug to bite through the fabric. The bed bug can't get out because it doesn't open it up that much, but it opens it up enough for the bed bug to actually bite through the fabric. So this doesn't actually really do anything to help you with bed bugs at all. So, once you put a sheet and over a treated mattress, the bed bugs can't crawl on the mattress directly either. That's not true. So, people say that. People will say that, but that's not true. So, what happens when a bed bug... So, let me show you what they do. You have a mattress. Like that. All right? And then your fitted sheet, let's say it goes all the way down. It's a nice one. It actually fits all the way down, all the way around like this. It's got that stupid little curly thing that makes it impossible to fold. All right. So that's your fitted sheet. So what the bed bug does. Now, it's open on the bottom. It's exposed. All right. So the bed bug is down. Let's see. He, you got your bed. Here's your box spring right here. All right. And then you got your bed rail here. I love this. I always like this question because I get this question a lot. And then here's your bed leg and your bed leg. All right, this is not the best because I don't have my tablet. Okay, so here you go. The bed bug's here. His name is Harry. Harry the bed bug. All right, he goes here and he crawls up the leg like this. Okay, he crawls over the box spring, which should be treated. It should be treated. This box spring should be treated. You should treat this box spring. So let's say you don't. Let's say the exterminator did a crappy job, which it sounds like he's not very bright anyway. So he didn't do a very good job. He did not spree the, treat the box spring at all. At all. Even though the box spring is hollow and it should be treated. But he didn't because he did a bad job. So the bed bug crawls up and now he crawls over this and boom. There's your foot right there right there and it's like ow bit me right there all right you got a bug bite there now so what does that bed bug do when he's done feeding he goes down like this and then he goes between the box spring and 
the mattress. Or he crawls down and he crawls over top of this and then he goes back to his home. But the point is, is that when you treat a bed for bed bugs, I believe every single label requires the box spring to be treated. If the box spring is not treated, they are not following the label. Because the label will say to treat the box spring for bed bugs. If you do not treat the box spring, most of the time, bed bugs live on and inside the box spring. They do not live on the mattress at all. But if they do, they will crawl in between the box spring and the mattress. It's a really common thing for them to do. And so even though you have a fitted sheet, the fitted sheet is like, like if you've got a mattress, like let's say we're looking at the bottom of the mattress, okay? Your fitted sheet fits like this. Like a Pop-Tart. All right, it looks like a Pop-Tart. All right, this is the fitted sheet right here. This is the fitted sheet. All right, this, this is your mattress. All right, so the bed bug's gonna crawl, it's gonna come up and here's your foot up here. Let's just do your feet. Maybe you're hanging them over the edge because you like for the boogeyman to bite your feet at night. All right. There's your feet. So the bed bug bites your feet. He comes out and he crawls into this spot between the mattress and box spring. It's a very common thing. In fact, most of the time when I go to homes and I flip up mattresses, I actually find bed bugs living between the mattress and the box spring. So if you treat the mattress, the bed bugs are going to be sandwiched between them and they're going to come across the treated surface and they're going to die. If this is total mattress encasement, they will never touch the mattress. The mattress will, will never get touched, which is treated. 